You're missing three seasons of baseball for this weather, Lieutenant Spawn. Wouldn't have any other way. The Western Front is keeping these Germans from America. Not to mention, we haven't had a bath or change of clothes for weeks. Can't rely on air support with these clouds. We're stretched out thin here, boys. What do you mean by that? The Germans have been on the front since Normandy. We got them where we want them. Go! Their Panzer Division has surely revolutionized warfare, introducing fast-paced armored clashes on a scale we've never seen before. Our bullets won't suffice! We need reinforcements! Radio in command! We're under heavy fire at the Ardens. We need reinforcements, goddammit! Thank God for that EE-8 field radio for real-time communication! Now get us to headquarters, goddammit! Goddammit! Goddammit, send me more troops, goddammit! Hang on for cotton back! Goddammit! Hurry up, goddammit! Hey, what you saying over there? Put me on that three-way call with y'all! Hurry up! God damn it! Get that car working in the headquarters! Oh shit! God damn! The 12th Army Group is depleted. We need to hasten the replacement of my ranks. We're uh, we're working on it, General Bradley. Supreme Commander Eisenhower, the Germans have attacked Allied forces in Ardennes. Surely it's nothing more than a scuffle. We barely pose a threat in that region. Which is exactly why they need reinforcements. What's the gravity of this situation? The Germans have made quick headway deep into American lines. At this rate, so it's been lost in the British in no time. Did aerial reconnaissance not see this attack coming? No matter how much planes have evolved and helped imagery intelligence, there's still no controlling weather. I'll send reinforcements right away with the utmost urgency. Send word. We must also move fuel and supplies out of the way of the German advance. We can't let them resupply now. Yes, sir. <laughs> to think I just came from a wedding in Versailles. <laughs> Put them with the others. First time, how'd you find yourself here? I'm Kenneth Ahrens for the 285th Battalion. Our jeeps were suddenly stopped by a German armed regiment at the crossroads. Now we're here. Where are you from? Kentucky. I worked for General Electric, payroll manager, but duty called, patriotism called. I wasn't going to let a little man with a little mustache test America's metal. Ideology is a hell of a drug. That's what's motivating these guys, too. It's dangerous when that patriotism is in the wrong place for the wrong reason. Hitler to himself ordered the same no quarter brutality which we fought the Soviets in the Eastern Front. The West hasn't seen anything quite like this. We'll establish fear this way. War isn't just physical, it's psychological. Have you ever been shot by a bullet before? Yes? Mm. So you know what the pain feels like. The shock. Having it course through your body. Hmm? Yes, sir. Well, now on the head. Yes. Hmm? How about the head?
Massacre at Malmody. About 80 or so American POW shown no clemency. This is a war crime, no doubt. I take that personal. The present situation is to be regarded as one of opportunity and not disaster. Brigadier General Bruce Clark has relieved St. Vith. This is the turning point of the bulge. It's time we launch a counteroffensive, starting with Bastogne. General McAuliffe and the 101st Airborne Division have held strong for days under a German siege. His tenacity has boosted morale on the Western Front. What do you say we do? It's clear now. We'll squeeze the sides of the German salient, hidden from the north and the south. Fine. I'll do it myself. I'll attack with three divisions of the Saar region over the next three days. The Germans will pay for what they did. It's all the motivation I need. Are you sure? This seems quite dangerous, General Patton. It can be done. And it will be done. I'll trust your ambition, General Patton. I'm to be promoted to a five-star general tomorrow. And every time I get promoted, I get attacked. Every time you get attacked, I'll bail you out. We're outnumbered approximately 5 to 1, lacking cold weather gear, ammunition, food, and medical supplies. Sieges are less viable thanks to airdrops, but where is our support? You ever experienced winter weather like this? Our forces can't be resupplied. Nor can we receive tactical air support. It's just too cloudy. A message from the German commander von Ludwig, sir. There's only one possibility to save the encircled USA troops from total annihilation. That is honorable surrender of the encircled town. Hey, send him this. Nuts! Commander Von Lupin, something came in the mail today. It's the American commander's response, I presume. What does he say? Des Nuts? We'll attack again tonight. Allied forces control of Bastogne as a major obstacle to our armored advance. Without our tanks and bombers, we will not have the Blitzkrieg success as before. Und the Führer wants to retake it. Time, General! Sorry, I'm late. General Terror will arrive with the 4th Armored Division tomorrow and resume command. You did good. You did good. You did good. So the German encirclement's been broken? Yes, you battered bastard! Well, that's the first of no But our offensive has just begun! We pushed the Germans back and suppressed the bulge.
No. What have we done? 80 odd German POWs. One for every American killed at Malmody. General, we've committed the same war crimes we accused the Germans of. Then I hope we can conceal this. <laughs> <laughs>